Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I was just in between filming videos and I opened my blinds and I was like, that looks really nice as a background. I normally have my blinds down because I figured that like a privacy, I don't want my camera necessarily facing right out um, into the world <laughs> to so you'd know where I live. But also um, I figured that it would disrupt the lighting too much having like so much backlighting, but actually I think that looks really cool. Obviously I have to have my camera settings set up in a way where I can get enough illumination on me which kind of blows out the background so you can't really see detail and you wouldn't be able to tell necessarily where I live. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try it like this for a video, I thought that'd be kind of fun. So today I wanted to talk about some products that I think are really underrated. I kind of wanted to just have a chatty beauty video where I talk about beauty products that I really love and I think deserve more hype here on YouTube and just in the beauty world in general. I feel like some of these are products that um, kind of got written off in the beauty community just because they don't suit that typical like Instagram aesthetic. Um, and and people were sort of too quick to judge them and other things are things that I just think haven't Like people just haven't bought them because they haven't received enough hype Perhaps they weren't sent out in any PR packages perhaps they're just really old products that I still think are great um, They're just products that really came to mind when I thought about products that I don't hear a ton of people raving about um, And I think are really underrated so the first one that comes to mind is one that you may or may not agree with in terms of whether it's um, underrated, but I Honestly, I, saw, I heard a lot of hype about this when it very first released, but then a lot of people were sort of not that into it and then it never showed up on their channels again. And it's the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. And I understand why. This is a medium coverage concealer, so it's not full coverage, tart shape tape kind of deal. And I feel like that was the precedent that was set by that tart shape tape, like that was the precedent of what a good concealer was. So when people started trying this, at first they were super excited because a lot of people loved the foundation. Um, but I didn't hear very many beauty gurus and online-y personalities saying that they liked this. It just received a few more negative reviews and I think it deserves and for the reasons being like it didn't have enough um, coverage and things like that and I'm like well it's a medium coverage concealer that's the point. I think a lot of people misunderstood it. This is probably the nicest formulation of a concealer literally like ever in the terms of how hydrating it is under the eyes it is so gorgeous it's really great if you have a dry skin type or even a mature skin um, it just really kind of nourishes and plumps the under eyes the next product are some pencil liners that I literally hear no one talk about they're the Zoeva graphic eyes eye pencils and I can kind of understand because Zoeva is it's a popular brand, but I would say mainly just popular for the brushes and the palettes. But these pencils are really overlooked and I got a big box set of them a while ago, but I ended up only keeping the more nudie and neutral colors just because that's what I prefer to wear in an eyeliner and donated a lot of the bright colors, but they are so nice. They're waterproof eyeliners. So they work really, really well to hold up on your waterline, but they actually go on the waterline because sometimes waterproof liners really struggle to even actually draw on there, but these don't have an issue. They're really creamy. I often use them on the top lash line to blend it out with like a little pencil brush and it blends out beautifully. They don't sit too fast but they do sit down eventually so they'll stay around all day. So I would highly highly rate these. I think they're they're very underrated around here. And another eyeliner that I literally hear no one else talking about and I've been heralding this for years. It's the Chi Chi Double Ended Eye Brightener. Mine's looking real sad now. It's, I need to get a new one soon but this is a product that has like a shimmery end on one side and a matte end on one side. I don't use the shimmer end all that often because it's not the reason I purchase it for. I purchase it for the matte nude end because it is the nicest kind of nude color for fair skin. It's close to a white but it's not a stark white so it's like a soft very 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 subtle nude therefore I'm wearing it on my waterline today it just cancels out the pinkness and the redness on my waterline without actually looking too stark so that's why I absolutely love it because some nude liners can look a little bit too peachy or a little too dark so if you are very fair and you're based in Australia the Chi Chi Double Ended Eye Brightener is really really good. A brow product that I think is very underrated is this BH Cosmetics Studio HD Brow Pencil. A lot of people love the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I think this is absolutely comparable if not better. I have had the Anastasia Brow Wiz in my collection a few years ago. I did get a color that was a little bit too light for me. It was like the lightest color and it didn't really show up enough. I like slightly deeper brows that matched my roots more than the length of my hair. Um, so that was a bit of an issue with it but the actual formula was quite stiff. Um, it was okay. I didn't like rave about it though. I wouldn't have gone and repurchased it. But then I purchased these, the HD brow pencil, 
a while ago um, with a BH Cosmetics order that I did and I absolutely loved it. This is in the shade Blonde and it's the same deal where it's like a little skinny twist up liner. The colour of this as well, this blonde colour is not too um, warm toned, it's quite ashy and it comes with a little spoolie on the other end which is a really nice, very fine tipped spoolie very much appreciated. This is such a good product and it's super cheap and I never hear anyone talking about it so it definitely deserves a little more love around here. I also have some face products to talk about. Actually we'll start with the foundation. I should have begun with this but anyway. <laughs> it's the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. I feel like foundation can be very hard to determine whether it's overrated or underrated because it's a very particular thing like everyone has different preferences that they like but I do think that the Cover FX Natural Finish is a phenomenal foundation and it's one that's been around for a long time and doesn't get much hype like everyone jumped on the cover fx power play foundation bandwagon when that came out and i just put up a double review comparing both of them so if you are interested i'll have that linked below as well i think the natural finish foundation is gorgeous and i think because it's got 40 shades like it should be talked about so much more it should be up there with fenty and maybelline's fit me you know for in terms of like raved about products but this just doesn't get as much love as i think it deserves and i think the formula is really unique and a bit different to other ones on the market because it is water based not silicon based. I would love to see more people trying this out and using it in tutorials. I think it's very very underrated. Um, I also have a contouring stick that I think is very underrated. I've only ever heard one other YouTuber talk about this. That's Lauren May Beauty and it's the Jordana Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick. This is in the shade 1 Light and I bought this totally on a whim without any beauty guru influence um i actually did a whole video on that as well like makeup i've bought with no other beauty guru influence it was a really cool video um but i saw this on beauty bay and it looked really nice and ashy and quite fair and i thought that would be great i love cream contouring sticks because they're so easy to use they just bam swipe it on blend it out with a beauty blender it's really good and i think it's better than the fancy beauty amber like match stick i think it's creamier and just a little bit like easy to work with Although I do love the packaging of the Fenty one. That is a big win for that. <laughs> Bare Minerals, I think, as a brand is generally quite underrated. And I think a lot of people think of it as kind of a eh brand. Like it's one that's always there in the shop. But a lot of people don't really go over and get excited by the new releases. But I actually think Bare Minerals is a beautiful brand. Especially for the sort of everyday gal. If you just want makeup you can just wear to work in a professional setting. That looks really natural but really perfected. Then I think Bare Minerals is a really good brand for that sort of aesthetic. I really particularly love their invisible bronze and invisible glow powders so this is a bronzer obviously and this is like a really subtle kind of satin highlighter it's super super natural on the skin these are both in the shade fair to light as well so bare minerals do four different shades fair to light i think light medium medium deep and deep or something like that like there's a few different um, varieties of depth and i think that's awesome it's very inclusive these shades work really really well for me the bronzer in particular is a gorgeous kind of soft sheeny bronzer so it looks really flattering on the skin it doesn't look muddy because sometimes matte bronzers can go a little muddy so it's very very like easy to use and um, the tone of it is a little more on the cooler side as well for a bronzer and the highlight is probably one of the most natural highlights you'll ever use like it definitely gives an effect but it looks really really nice and natural on i've used this in quite a few tutorials i've used both of those products in a lot of tutorials so if you're curious to see it in action you just have to type anna elaine in the name of the product and it'll either come up with a review or a video where i've used the products in it and um, another bronzer that i hear no one talking about and i've actually seen quite a few negative reviews online as well so i feel like this is one that like a product that i love that a lot of people hate um, it is the e.l.f. Mineral Pearls and these are in the <clears throat> excuse me and these are in the shade Natural so these are like little girl aunt meteorites you could say like they kind of give that effect and they do come with a weird little puffy thing I wouldn't use this to apply it but it's just quite helpful to keep it in there to stop the pearls from you know rolling around and breaking on transit but these are basically yeah soft little pearls I think Physicians Formula did something like this as well but these are a lot lighter so this is the most subtle gorgeous kind of bronzer for fair skin it's not too pigmented and i think that's where a lot of people find them a bit eh and not, don't really like them as a product but you know with fair skin um less pigmented products can be quite useful <laughs> it helps us to not look too overdone and it's a lot more foolproof 
um, and I think these are so beautiful and they're really really affordable and they do give you that kind of Guerlain vibes without having to spend like I don't know probably 12 times as much as what this costs even more it's probably 20 times as much <laughs> to buy the Guerlain meteorites as it is to get these elf ones so I definitely recommend these I don't though recommend the colored ones um, those were very much what I thought would be like the Guerlain meteorites but the colored ones were a bit nothingless to me they didn't really have any sheen um, and they didn't really color correct either so I wouldn't recommend those but I would recommend the natural color for a bronzer for fair skin then we have a couple more highlighters because I do have a lot of highlighters so I'm bound to always have a couple that I think are more underrated and less talked about the first is the Too Faced blinded by the lights highlighter this is one of their love light ones and I think this is absolutely stunning this is a very like glossy kind of wet looking formula a lot of youtubers wrote this off very early I think they got sent like the whole collection and these when they come have a bit of a film on them you do have to break through it just because it's a really gorgeous pattern and I think a lot of YouTubers just sort of like used it once wrote it off as being a bit eh and not really worth the hype and then once a few people sort of get on that bandwagon of like I don't really like this I feel like everyone gets on it it's kind of like the brand bashing bandwagon you know and I just it really annoys me because I think this is a fantastic product and I feel like sometimes a YouTuber's bias gets in the way of their review in, in a negative way as well so it used to be on YouTube, I think it used to be a problem on YouTube where people were dishonest saying they loved everything and now I feel like it goes the other way and people want the tea and they want you know you to hate products but I think this is absolutely gorgeous and I know a few of you have gone and purchased this on my recommendation and love it too so you know I think it's really important to like review a product for what it actually is and I think that's a gorgeous product. Granted it might not always be someone's cup of tea but generally like I feel like YouTubers love a good glossy highlight and that is one that will give that to you. Um, the next is also a glossy highlight that doesn't get enough love. It's not so much that people tried this and didn't like it I just feel like I've not really heard many people talk about it. It's the MAC Double Gleam highlighter, one of my favorites again. And this is a little bit more of a sort of champagne gold sort of color whereas the love light and blinded by the light is more of a pink champagne color this is that same kind of wet glossy formula where it doesn't have too much like back pigments and when you push it on your cheek when you look forward you can't see it but when you tilt it's just like beaming shine it's so so pretty I've used this a ton so you'll definitely find a tutorial on on here of me using it I think a lot of people do really like the extra dimension skin finishes but they tend to use the more popular shades like whisper of guilt but I feel like this shade in particular is just so pretty it doesn't get enough love and the final product I want to talk about are my favorite favorite liquid lipsticks I think are better than any other formula and don't get enough hype it's the Stila liquid lipsticks these are the stay all day liquid lipsticks I know that they are a popular product in the sense of they do sell well but I feel like I'm only ever hearing about like Anastasia Beverly Hills and like Dose of Colors and Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks like I feel like a lot of other brands get a lot more hype than the Stila ones and I think Stila as a brand actually apart from their glitter and glows people don't really like talk about them as much as I think they deserved I think there's so many good products that they put out oh their liquid liner gets a pretty good amount of attention as well but I feel like people go nuts over the glitter and glow eyeshadows which definitely deserve the hype but there are other products in their line that are amazing too and I think these liquid lipsticks are some of the best out there funnily enough I'm not wearing one today because this is from my Australian makeup tutorial so it's a different one different liquid lipstick still nice but I still prefer this formula. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoy these really like chatty makeup videos where I sort of pick a topic and I get to pick out products from my collection and talk about them. Um, then I'm gonna film another one now for a couple of weeks time which is disappointing makeup products. So if you're interested in seeing that video then definitely subscribe because that will be coming to you in about two weeks time. Also if you did enjoy it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me because it does really help me out. And until next time I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!